Hello me TPDs, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be testing out a brand new primer from Revlon. This is the Prime Plus Mattifying and Pore Reducing Primer. Now I know that this is new, or at least it said it was new online, and I wanted to pick it up so I got mine from Target. If you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts on this primer and seeing a full day wear test, then be sure to keep on watching. And don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And if you're enjoying the video while you're watching, you can give this video a thumbs up so I know. This primer was $11.99 at Target. You do get one fluid ounce of product. I am looking currently on the Ulta website just because it has a little bit more information on it, but it says primer meets skincare. Uh, what's out? Parabens, artificial dyes, sulfates, and phthalates. It says fight shine upon application while reducing pores and excess sub sebum over time. It says how to wear it. Start with cleansed and moisturized skin. Pump one to two pumps onto middle finger, why middle finger, and dab primer into cheek forehead, nose, and chin. From center of face, use a sweeping motion to smooth in onto skin to create an instantly brightened looking skin. If desired, apply makeup afterwards or wear alone. There are a couple different versions of this. Like there is this one, there is the brightening and skin tone evening one, and then there is the perfecting and smoothing. I might try the perfecting and smoothing one. That one seems pretty good. But on Ulta, it seems to have three and a half stars right now. Best for oily skin and large pores. I have all of that. It has salicylic acid, AHAs, and apple fruit in it. And it's supposed to be like skincare-y. So those are the claims. Let's go ahead. I'm going to wear this all day. It's not a wear test Wednesday, but it is currently 7.49 in the morning. And I'm gonna wear it all day, see how it does. All right, so here is the bottle. It does have a pump. That is what it looks like. Is it coming? Oh my gosh. My finger is getting tired. Oh, there it goes. One to two pumps. So that is what the primer looks like. It is a white, kind of looks like a lotion. Ooh, it's like tacky. I'm not putting it on my fail finger. I'm just putting it all over <laughs> like I normally use a primer. All right, it is drying down really fast. You definitely have to work a little quicker with this one because it is very tacky going on the skin. It smells not great. Smells like paint primer a little bit. But it says it's supposed to like get rid of oil upon application. I would say my skin looks pretty good. I mean, it does look maybe a little oily, but not bad at all. So here's what my skin looks like just applied. I think this one's, I'm gonna really have to see it underneath a foundation and powder and stuff and see how it wears throughout the day to see if it really does anything. Yeah, I mean, my skin feels very nice. I'm all about a new primer that's supposed to mattify and reduce my pores. That's what I'm all about. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. This is more of a natural finish foundation, so it's not going to change the way that the primer looks. I definitely got too light of a shade in this foundation, but it's fine. I think it works at when I'm like my palest, and that's like now, so maybe I can just add lots of bronzer. This is supposed to be like a skincare treatment kind of, cause it does have salicylic acid in it. So I'm curious if like it doesn't necessarily claim to help. I mean, it says that it's skincare, but it doesn't really say like what it's supposed to help with or if it's supposed to help with your blemishes or anything like that. I do really like that drugstore brands are starting to not include things that are not necessarily good or helpful in their products like fragrance or parabens or like all those claims that I guess the industry is kind of going towards right now is like this clean makeup type of deal. So it's cool that drugstore is trying to jump on that bandwagon as well. Pores definitely look smaller, pretty smoothed out. Everything looks really nice right now. Yeah, I don't really have any complaints. Things look nice and smooth. I'm going to add my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I've been going back to this recently. And I'm gonna set everything down with the Wet n Wild translucent powder. This does help mattify a little bit, but mainly just kind of like smooths your skin and helps your makeup last longer. And I do set my entire face because I am oily. I kind of have to. So here's the skin, totally set down with foundation and everything. It does look very, very nice. Part of that is the foundation and part of it is the powder, but I do think that the primer is making my skin look very like smooth and soft. I'm gonna call the check-in time eight o'clock cause it's basically eight o'clock right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'll be back, see if everything went on really well, but 
so far it looks really nice. I'm definitely gonna have to see how it wears throughout the day because that's gonna be the test right there. It is 8.14 right now. I just finished out the rest of my makeup. I gotta say my skin looks really, really nice, like real nice. I had to go in with this stupid CoverGirl Exhibitionist last mascara because when I went, I went like three different times to a Target to get my Lash Blast Fusion and they didn't have it anywhere. So I, I freaked out and I was like, I gotta have something. So I grabbed this because I heard good things. I think right now it's eh. Took a while to build up on my lashes and it kind of had some fallout from the mascara as well. And it's not even like holding a curl on my lashes very nicely. That aside, my mascara freaks me out when I have to use something different. So I'm like, is that gonna work? But yeah, here's how my skin is looking. Yeah, it just looks very smooth, very blurred, definitely very matte. And we're gonna have to see how it wears. So I will hop back on at the very end of the day and show you guys how my skin is looking. I'm back. It is currently 6.18 in the evening. And I've had this on for almost, let's see, 10 hours now. Yeah. So here's how my skin is looking. I haven't touched up my skin at all throughout the day. This is just how it's looking. And I gotta say, I'm a little oily, but not bad. I mean, like, it's not an unmanageable oil. I could literally just put a blotting sheet on my skin and it would take it right off. I do think that my skin stayed looking pretty nice throughout the day. My pores look fine. Like, I just, I just look a little oily and that's it. I wouldn't say that this is the most mattifying primer that I've ever used, but I did not even use a mattifying foundation today. So maybe if I use this, in conjunction with a mattifying foundation, like the Koki Full Cover Foundation, that might keep me a little bit more oil-free throughout the day, but I, do, I really don't feel like it looks bad. Like 10 hours of wear of a primer or foundation makeup in general is a long time, and so has come off my chin just a little bit because I think I was going like this throughout the day. <laughs> I mean, if you have oily skin, give it a try. See if it works for you. There's ne I'm never gonna find a primer that keeps me 100% oil-free the entire day. It's just not gonna happen because I do have oily skin. Definitely gonna continue to use this product and see how it works with other products. But if you have tried this or if you've seen this line and you know wanna test it out, let me know your thoughts down below. And I also think for the price, it's pretty decent. Like I would say it's a decent mattifying option from the drugstore that's not going to mattify like and make your skin look really, really cakey and like tight feeling and that kind of thing. It was very comfortable to wear on the skin and I think it made my foundation look really nice throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.